Hello everyone, my name is Holden Hardman. Thank you so much for joining us again for another video. Today I'm so excited to show Jennifer, my lovely fiance now, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, or Philosopher's Stone, if you're not from America. We ran a poll on Patreon after we finished the MCU, or most of the MCU. We're still doing What If as it comes out as of now. And we put a lot of stuff on there, a lot of new franchises, one-off movies, and just wanted to see what everyone would vote for. So it really came down to three. It was the Harry Potter series, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man trilogy, and the Dark Knight trilogy. So as of recording this, Harry Potter beat out Raimi's Spider-Man by a single vote. So if you want voting power in the future, make sure you check out Patreon. It's a great way to do that. The way we will do this, because I know not everybody wants to see Harry Potter, though I know many of you do. In the coming weeks, we're going to interlace a couple of things. We're gonna interlace Clone Wars. I know that a lot of you guys want us to finish that. For those of you not interested in watching Clone Wars, we're gonna be doing Harry Potter since it won. And we're also gonna try doing Spider-Man, the Raimi trilogy. Partly because it was it won second place and also partly because it may have relevance in the nearish future. You know what I'm talking about. So today we're gonna to be starting with Harry Potter. I love this series. I know a lot of people don't like it when I hype up movies, but this is a great film. I still don't know how you missed this just growing up, but for me, this was a big deal uh, for a multitude of reasons. I grew up in a very religious household. Tell me if you've heard this one before, where my mother would not allow me to watch Harry Potter because it was demonic and witchcraft and evil. So I kind of watched it a little bit over time a little bit later. Once I started getting kind of in my high school years, I kind of went back and started watching it more. I ended up doing a paper on this in my philosophy of religion class back in college, talking about Christian allegory and stuff. We won't get into all the religious aspects of it, but J.K. Rowling is a Christian. She was actually worried that it was going to kind of parallel the Narnia, Lord of the Rings, Christian allegory when she first released it. So I find it ironic that the exact opposite happened. Fundamentalists didn't end up liking it. And that's still a debate that raises to this day. I know that J.K. Rowling's reputation has kind of faltered a little bit with kind of going back and retconning and stuff or whatever else. Aside from our opinion of her, whether you like her or don't like her, I think that this is one of the best uh, series franchises within the past 20, 30 years. Jen, how familiar are you with Harry Potter and what is your initial impression? How do you think you'll respond to this going in? Okay, so Harry Potter. You guys know me by now. I always go into everything with an open mind that's important to me. However, I do have to admit that Harry Potter just, I'm not as excited to see what this is about as opposed to Star Wars and the MCU. And I'm not really sure why. Maybe because I think that it's gonna be like more on the childish side. I don't know. But I, I'm willing to watch it, check it out. A lot of people I know are serious about this series of movies. I'm curious to know why. I was aware of the movie and I was aware of the books, but for whatever reason, I just didn't watch them. I know it's about wizards, that's the extent. And I don't even know if that's accurate. <laughs> so I'm, I'm willing to see what it's about. I hope it'll be good. I, I'm a little hesitant with this series. So we'll, we'll have to see if it's any good or if it lives up to kind of the hype that everybody has kind of displayed. A lot of people rave about this. So we'll just have to see how good it is. The general consensus when it comes to how the Harry Potter movies and books to, I guess, progress, they do start off, I, I guess, more childish, and they definitely develop and get darker, much more mature later on. Not even way later on. I would say probably by the second one, it starts to kind of delve into more like, oh, that's some dark territory. My prediction, and I may be totally off base, I think that you'll enjoy this one. I think you'll like it. I think you'll like the second one. I do think that by the time we get to the end, you'll be really invested. In it. That's my prediction. Let me know your prediction down in the comments below. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Special thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and just get lost in creativity. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration, design, photography, freelance, cinematography, and more. It's meant for real, 
working creatives, and lifelong learners. Classes include a combination of video lessons and a class project. They are designed to fit your schedule and your skill level from absolute beginner to dabbler to pro to master. Members get unlimited access to thousands of inspiring classes with hands-on projects and feedback from a community of millions. Perhaps you're wanting to learn more about photography, animation, illustration, or becoming a YouTuber or video production. As someone who loves film and making my own shorts and documentaries and fun skits, I'm constantly learning about filmmaking and how to make my films just look better. Which is why I'm recommending Cinematography Basics, Understanding Filmmaking Style by Zach Mulligan. He goes over visual language, shot lists, tones, and scene breakdowns. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, which means there are no ads. And they're always launching premium classes, so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. The first 1,000 of my subscribers that use the link in the description below will receive a one-month free trial of Skillshare Premium. Supporting the sponsor helps support the channel, so make sure you go check them out. What year did this come out? This was 2000, 2001, something like that. The book came out in 98. The score for this is amazing. I should have known that you would be here, Professor McGonagall. Cat is a person. <laughs> Good evening, Professor Dumbledore. I love her. Do you think it wise to trust Hagrid with something as important as this? I would trust Hagrid with my life. Did he literally fly in on a motorcycle? Yeah. Professor Dumbledore, sir. There you go. He flew in with a child mm -hmm. on a motorcycle? There's, these are kind of uh, special circumstances. He's far better off growing up away from all of that till he is ready. I'm literally getting goosebumps right now. Aww. <clears throat> it's not really goodbye after all. It reminds me of The Undertaker. Harry Potter. Yeah. Get up. Is this room in a closet? It's in a, it's under the stairs, yep. Wake up, cousin! We're going to the zoo! Hate him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Poor Harry. Um, oh. Dave. One of those situations. Why don't you just cook the breakfast and try not to burn anything? Yes, Aunt Petunia. He's just a little abused. Like, not enough for law to get involved, but enough to mess him up. How many are there? 36. 36! But last year, last year, I had 37! Two new Peruca pieces. Salt. How's that, Bob? Yeah. Noxious. Jesus. And you won't have any meals for a week. Get Somebody called DCF. They could probably get involved because of that. Uh. Jesus. Can you hear me? Do you miss your family? Aw. Oh. Wow. That's me as well. Come here! Don't believe Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> sucks to suck. Good for him. Thanks. Any time? You talked? <laughs> 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 Me. <laughs> There's no such thing as magic. Is there a specific reason they put them? Like, is that his actual family? Yeah, the only family he's got. Do they know, like, what type of people they were? Yeah, they talked about it at the very beginning. She's like, these are the worst sort of muggles. They'll explain what that means, too. Oh, Mom, I'll be writing to you. Nice hat, bro. Hogwarts? Yeah. You see it said four privet drive covered under the stairs. I'm trying to stop the mail? What a douche lord. Shoot! <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the pictures. The pictures. <laughs> Best day of the week. Because there's no post on Sundays. Right you are, Harry. <laughs> Not one blasted miserable. <laughs> 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 really? He's changing their zip code all because he's getting letters? I wonder how he found the realtor to show him this place. Isn't that sad? 
Oh. Oh, hey, it's the Undertaker again. Yeah. Sorry about that. What's the name of Dumbledore? This is a Hagrid. Dry up, Dursley, you great prune. You're a bit more along than I would have expected, particularly round the middle. <laughs> Afraid I may have sat on it at some point, but I imagine it'll taste fine just the same. Baked it myself, words and all. Oh. Thank you. It's not every day your young man turns 11 now, is it? Not very good with the spelling, I see. <laughs> Rubius Hagrid, keeper of keys and grounds at Hogwarts. Sorry. Mm. Look at what he's wearing. I oh, know. You're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? A wizard. Did you ever make anything happen? Anything you couldn't explain when you were angry or, or scared? We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. You knew all along and you never told me. Of course we knew. I was the only one to see her for what she was. Oh, she's a Karen. <laughs> she went and got herself blown up. <laughs> Look at her husband. Muggle. Non-magic folk. This boy uh. is going to the finest school <laughs> of <Me>. witchcraft. <laughs> and have some crackpot old fool teach him magic tricks. Ooh. Never insult Albus Dumbledore. <laughs> <laughs> You know where to go. Just helping young Harry here avoid his school supplies. Yes, my soul. It's Harry Potter. Welcome back, Mr. Potter. Welcome back. Harry Potter. Harry, this is Professor Quirrell. He'll be your defense against the dark arts teacher. Welcome, Harry, to Diagon Alley. Oh, COVID, bat. Look at it! The new Nimbus 2000! No safer place! Not one! Except perhaps really? Words. <laughs> oh my gosh, are they little elves? What are they? Why do they look like that? Oh, Tiger's gonna explain. We'll see. Goblins, Harry. Jesus. Mr. Harry Potter wishes to make a withdrawal. Professor Dumbledore gave me this. And you know what? In fault, you know which. Oh, well, that's cool. Mm -hmm. He's so little, like a little baby. I think they'd probably find that insulting, but I suppose. Just look at him. Harry's loaded. Didn't think your mom and dad would leave you with nothing, though, did you? Best not to mention this to anyone, Harry. Why don't you run along there and wait? I just got one more thing I got to do. It won't be long. I wondered when I'd be seeing you, Mr. Potter. Here we are. Give it a wave. <laughs> Apparently not. Jeez. No, no, definitely <laughs> not. Why is your face like that? That's not. Curious. Very curious. The phoenix, whose tail feather resides in your wand, gave another feather, just one, its brother gave you that scar. Who owns that one? Huh? The one chooses the wizard, Mr. Potter. He who must not be named did great things. Is it Thanos? It's Thanos. <laughs> Probably the equivalent. Gave two feathers in that wand that chose Harry. And the one that gave him the... And the one in the wand of the... Who well, where's that one? The person that did it? Yeah. And, and his wand. Or her. Who's to say? I know you do. It's a her, huh? That's very important. Could be. His name was. Maybe she wrote it down. <laughs> no, I can't. Voldemort. Shh. Why does it sound like a prescription drug? <laughs> yeah, prescription. Voldemort. With a side effect of death. Over to the dark side. The dark side. Blah knows. Ain't nobody lived once he decided to kill him. Except you. Art like that only comes from being touched by a curse and an evil curse at that. You're the boy who lived. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but Hagrid. Literally, anytime I'm at the airport trying to figure out where to go. 
says to go to gate 24, but there's only 23. That man just walked into a wall. They're walking through walls, no big deal. It's Ron's first time to Hogwarts as well. Good luck. Wow, oh, Jenny. Ron Weasley. I'm Harry, Harry Potter. Oh, he's for sure picked on. Ben. Ron Weasley. Do you really have the... <laughs> Bertie bought some flavor beans. Is that a rat? There's yeah. chocolate and peppermint. Just a rat. God, what do you know? Everything. I'm out. Scabbers. Mm -hmm. Fred gave me a spell as to turn him yellow. Has anyone seen a toad? A boy named Neville's lost one. Who's the actress that plays her? Emma Watson. Oculus Reparo. I'm Hermione Granger. And you are? <laughs> She's literally me when we work together. I know, I was thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> Pleasure. <laughs> Remember in our live stream, someone talked about a castle. Is this supposed to be like in a, like a physical place? Mm -hmm. like there's magic or something that's kind of protects it from being found. Okay. Welcome to Hogwarts. Now while you're here. Oh, I don't like that kid. I bet you the blonde goes to Slytherin. Any rule breaking. Jeez, that's a big toad. Draco Malfoy. <laughs> Hand me down robe. You must be a Weasley. Aw. I think I can tell the wrong sort for myself, thanks. Ooh. So magical. What is her name? Hermione. What's wrong with these names? I like it. I wonder how many people name their kids no. after these characters. A lot. The Dark Forest is Strictly forbidden to all students. Oh, that means they're gonna go there. He came to Pensacon from here. To everyone who does not wish to die a most painful- Jesus! <laughs> Harry's face is like, what? Is that a okay. talking hat? Mm -hmm. It's a sorting hat. Yep. The, the hat is talking. Yeah. Oh, that bleach blonde came from a box. Alan. It's Marilyn Manson! Alan. Rickman. Hufflepuff. Good job, Susan. Weasley. I mean, you can kind of tell the tone of these, <laughs> these houses. Harry Potter. Oh, this will be interesting. There's talent. Oh yes, and a thirst to prove yourself. Not Slytherin, eh? You could be great, you know. Well, if you're sure. Gryffindor. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, that's cool. Me at Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Professor Snape, head of Slytherin House. Oh, no. How are you? <laughs> what is happening? Are these ghosts? Yeah. Nearly headless. How can you be nearly headless? What is this rated? Child abuse. <laughs> Being decapitated. That's, that's about as bad as it gets. Your nose Look at the is stairs. actually growing. Look at the growing. staircase, it's moving. That's cool. A lot of work and detail went into this first movie. Yeah. Welcome to the Gryffindor common room. Oh, I like the owl. Mm -hmm. At least he has some real pajamas. Is that a real castle or is that? I think that was a bit of a composite, but there is a castle that they shot a lot of this at. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Foolish wand waving to appreciate the subtle science and exact. And this literally would be you if you were boss. Yeah, I know, I know. A lot of Marilyn Manson vibes. I can tell you how to bottle fame, brew glory. Our new celebrity. Infusion of wormwood. <laughs> you. Clearly, fame isn't everything. I go just throws it at him. Figure it out. The only problem is, I can't remember what I've forgotten. <laughs> Gringotts goblins, while acknowledging the breach, insist nothing was taken. That's odd. That's the vault Hagrid and I went to. Madam Hooch. <laughs> Wait till you learn how I got that name. First oh, so these very holes. Uh. Oh. Oof. Uh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. Everyone out of the way. Maybe if the fat lump would give him this a squeeze. 
He remembered to fall on his fat ass. Douche lord. No. His hair is really bothering me. That looks so much fun. I know. Wait till they play Quidditch. What if Shao is a wizard? You don't even know how to fly. You trying to tell me what to do? What an idiot. Quite a throw. Harry Potter! I have found you a seeker. First years, never make the house teams. Harry, you never told me your father was a seeker too. Staircases change. That's gotta get old, like your room's like right there, you know? Gotta get those steps in. <laughs> this is the third floor. It's forbidden. Run. It's still just cats. Run. Ron, what's the cat gonna do? Hello, Hamora. Come on. Thought she's gone. It's Falcon. Falcon. Mm. And Boston. Falcon's offspring. Ah! A lot of kids get killed here, huh? <laughs> For either of you, come up with another clever idea to get us killed, or worse, expelled. I mean, she's not wrong. <laughs> Needs to sort out her priorities. <laughs> the chasers. Handle the quaffle and try to put it through one of those three hoops. The keeper defends the hoops. You catch this, Potter, and we win. Oh, baby. It's never to have your feathers. Good. Now, uh. <laughs> Guardian Lemosa. You're going to take someone's eye out. Leviosa. Not Leviosa. I mean, right now, she seems to be more talented than Harry Potter. I don't know, Harry was able to get the broom to fly up quickly. and She's more educated, for sure. Is that the same guy? Mm-hmm. Seamus. She's a nightmare, honestly. No wonder she's friends. She's like my favorite character so far. She's great. Oh, this is cool. It's a big Halloween item, Harry Potter. I hope Hogwarts has some good plumbing. These kids oh, pooping and pissing after this. She'd been in there all afternoon, crying. Mm. Way to go, Ron. Ron in the dungeon! I thought you ought to know. <laughs> Time out! Literally, you with the kids. I know. <laughs> Follow me to the dungeon. Hermione, she doesn't know. Going into the girls' bathroom. Aw, Hermione. Jeez. Uh. There you go, Ron. This was something a lot of parents had issues with. They kept lying and breaking the rules and stuff, and they kept getting like rewarded for it. Oh, get over it, Karen. <laughs> now that you've proven yourself against a troll, a little game of Quidditch should be easy work for you. Alan Rickman. Can you guess what it is? It's a Nimbus 2000. Told you about fluffy. Fluffy. Mm -hmm. Fluffy. Thing has a name. 
That's totally barbaric. For information on Nicholas Flamel. We've looked a hundred times. Not in the restricted section. I think we've had a bad influence on her. <laughs> what are you wearing? <laughs> oh, I've got presents. Yeah. I've never had presents before. Let's see them. Put it on. Oh, that's cool. Looks pretty good, too. Where are you? Oh, jeez. He's like, actually, I can. <laughs> you don't want me as your enemy, Quirrell. I found this in the restricted section. What do you think of Snape so far? I kind of, right off the bat, targeted him as the bad guy. I like Snape. Reminds me of Falcon. Come on, get out of bed! Why? There's something you've got to see, now come on! Literally me in the morning I with know. you. <laughs> I am head boy, and I'm holding the Quidditch Cup. Do you think this mirror shows the future? Both my parents are dead. Back again, Harry? It shows us the deepest and most desperate desires of our hearts. Men have wasted away in front of it. Nicholas Flamel is the only known maker of the Philosopher's Stone. It'll transform any metal into pure gold and produces the elixir of life. Immortal? It means you'll never die. I know what it means. <laughs> That's what Fluffy's guarding on the third floor. It's becoming quite the rebel. Sorry not yeah. to be rude, but I'm in a no bad influence on her. Look at the cute dog. <laughs> <laughs> Literally you. Ain't a soul knows how, except for me and Dumbledore. I shouldn't have told you that. I should not have told you that. <laughs> Isn't he beautiful? Oh, bless him. Look, he knows his mummy. Malfoy. Malfoy knows. She's really getting tired of their crap. I know. Good evening. Well, if it isn't tattle tits. All four of you were received attention. Exactly. He was running about, too. You see, honorable as your intentions were, you two were out of bed after hours. This is honestly exactly how kids are, though. I know. It was a time detention would find you hanging by your thumbs in the dungeons. I like how they're like, do not go to the dark I forest know. under any circumstances. Sorry, but if you get detention, you're working in the dark forest. <laughs> Dumbledore sent him off to Romania. Well, that's good, isn't it? He'll be with his own kind. Yeah, but what if he don't like Romania? My gosh, it's you. The other drag He's only a baby after all. Oh, for God's sake, pull yourself together. It's literally you. <laughs> you can't go in there. Students aren't allowed. <laughs> <laughs> that's unicorn blood, that is. What do you want us to do? <laughs> Ron, Hermione, you'll come with me. Oh, we're gonna split up. Got it. We'll go with Malfoy. Okay, then I get Fang. Bloody coward. Oh. Falcon. <laughs> Dog is huge. Oof. Oh god. <laughs> oh yeah, I like the way he moves. Hurry. Come on, dude. Kind of reminds me of a scene from Sleepy Hollow. Get out of here. What Get. is that? You must leave. Is that a man horse? Uh, what? This is not yeah. <laughs> this is inappropriate. A centaur? I always get centaur and minotaur mixed up. I'm pretty sure he's a centaur. That thing that killed the unicorn, that was Voldemort. That's from like Greek mythology, right? Whatever he is. Uh, I don't know. So you've met our young Mr. Potter. Good luck. Probably shouldn't have split up, huh, Hagrid? Aww. Snape doesn't want the stone for himself. He wants the stone for Voldemort. I've been worrying about my potions final. <laughs> Hang on. As long as Dumbledore's around, Harry, you're safe. It keeps burning. It means danger's coming. Hagrid, who gave you the dragon egg? Never saw his face. He kept his hood up. Well, of course he was interested in Fluffy. I said the trick with any beast is to know how to calm him. Play him a bit of music and he falls straight to sleep. I shouldn't have told you that. <laughs> ah, they'll be fine. Is that ghost taking a test? Dumbledore is not here. He received an urgent owl from the Ministry of Magic. I don't know how you three found out about the stone, but I assure you it is perfectly well protected. Nobody ever listened to us on account of we're kids. People will think you're up to something. 
Oh, creep. You're sneaking out. Check the PJs. You'll get Gryffindor into trouble again. They did, they did cost him 150 points. I know. Traficus totalis. At a girl. You're a little scary sometimes. <laughs> Just stuck there in his old teddy bear <laughs> PJs. I'm Laura. I really like this invisibility cape. Cloak. It's a cloak. He's snoring. He's put a spell on the harp. Just like Falcon. He's leaving my little pooch belly alone. Uh oh. Something bad happens. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. This devil's snare. You have to relax. It'll only kill you faster. Kill us faster? Come on, Come on me. Me. Trust me! <laughs> He's not relaxing, is he? Apparently not. But we'll sunk in the sun! That's it! Luma Solem! I mean, she's really saving the day. Yeah, she does that a lot. Lucky we didn't panic. <laughs> Almost lost my cool bear. Oh, my. Falcon running. Gonna play our way across the room. D five. He's going to sacrifice himself. No, you can't. There must be another way. I hope he didn't like Ron too much. Are they gonna kill him off? They're gonna slaughter a child? I like the little. Is this Disney? No. Run! Checkmate. Take care of Ron. You'll be okay, Harry. You're a great wizard. He's just gonna leave her to carry old Ron. <laughs> <laughs> you? Snape, he was, he was the... Yes. Well, next to him, who would suspect? Poor stuttering Professor Quirrell. Snape tried to kill me. Mm, no, dear boy. I tried to kill you. If Snape's cloak hadn't caught fire and broken my eye... So contact, Snape's not even a bad guy? I have to wait and see. Snape was trying to save him. To save him? <gasps> That's juicy. Oh. I didn't even suspect him at all. If you go back and watch, all the times his scar would go up earlier, it would show Snape, but he would be in the background. How many times have you seen this movie? A lot. And there's so much we could talk about later on, but I don't want to ruin anything. Who's the boy? Come here, Potter! What do you see? What is it? What do you see? I'm shaking hands with Dumbledore. I've won the house cup. Guys, let me speak to him. Maybe I should just run. What? Harry Potter. They like that nose. You see what I've become? Very X Files. Lies in your pocket. I'm out. Stop him. Firewall. Can join me and live. That we can rule the galaxy. Would you like to see your mother and father again? All I ask is for something in return. That's it, Harry. Can't he use magic and Kill it. take it from him? Well, he's about to. He's about to use this regular old muggle techniques of strangling to death. Ah! Ah! What is this magic? Fool, get the stone! He's literally two faced. Okay. Just by touching it? Uh, no, that was something else. They'll explain that. They'll explain it. <sighs> Get well. Good afternoon, Harry. What happened to down in the dungeons between you and Professor Quirrell is a complete secret, naturally. <laughs> the whole school knows. <laughs> The stone has been destroyed. But that Flamel, he'll die, won't he? He has enough elixir to set his affairs in order. Voldemort can never come back. Oh, I'm afraid there are ways in which he can return. 
Professor Quirrell couldn't bear to have you touch him was because of your mother. She sacrificed herself for you. That kind of act leaves a mark. This kind of mark cannot be seen. What is it? Love, Harry. Love. All right there, Ron. All right. You? All right. Never better. Never better. Another year gone. Fourth place. Gryffindor with 312 points. Our bad guys. That's on <laughs> us. <laughs> 472 points. Slytherin House. Yeah! Gryffindor would have been like 500 something. However, recent events must be taken into account. Miss Hermione Granger, 50 points. Good job, Hermione. Mr. Ronald Weasley, 50 points. Yeah! Harry Potter. I award Gryffindor House 60 points. Yeah. 10 points to Neville Longbottom. <laughs> Aww, I like that. People make fun, like the points don't really matter because at the end of the year, Dumbledore is just going to give it to whoever he wants. Like all the kids in Slytherin who like really worked hard all year round only for Dumbledore's teacher's pets to win it in the end. That's actually what I was thinking, like, you know, the popular kid. Mm -hmm. Crazy, uh, go where's he gonna go? Come on, hurry up. He's going back home. All right, let's go see the post credit scene. I'm just kidding, there's not post credits. Okay, we just finished Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. What a great movie. I really, really enjoy this movie. I really enjoyed the book. I read it back when I was in elementary school, I think. There's so much that I want to say, just like with the MCU, that later on ties back to this, and I can't say anything about it. J.K. Rowling is very, very good. So are the filmmakers in that everything is intentional from the very beginning. Everything has a purpose and uh, I can't reveal any of those purposes yet. But if we were to go back and watch this, once we get to the end, you'll see all these things that uh, mattered all along that you never thought. But it's your first time watching it on its own merit. What did you think? I feel like it was a decent, introduction to the Harry Potter franchise. Some of the things that I really, really enjoyed was the relationship between Hermione, Ron, and Harry Potter. I really just like their friendship. And they all have like different strengths and weaknesses. And I really enjoyed just seeing their relationships play out on screen. I very much enjoyed the twist, which was the entire time I thought Marilyn Manson lookalike Snape. Snape was gonna be the bad guy. I was 100% convinced he was the villain. I guess at least in this one, he wasn't. Although I didn't see him reappear, which was kind of weird. After that revelation, I really thought that he was gonna show up. I like that. I really like the, the twists and turns. And it was, just in general, a fun movie. I like how they jumped right into it. I mean, the first scene was them dropping Harry Potter off as a baby, and you see the little mark on his forehead. So it, it automatically gets your, your brain running. So I, I like those parts. One of my complaints would be just the, I guess the CG mm -hmm. or whatnot. Now, before you all freak out, I do take into account that it was made a while ago. So uh, you said 2000? Yeah, I think so. So obviously I, I'm aware that it has come a, you know, a, a bit since then. So, and it's not a huge thing. It was just something that kept popping up that I noticed. Certain scenes were pretty, pretty rough. But all in all, I thought that it was, it was a cute movie. I did not think I was gonna like it, honestly. Really? I will say that it is, it kind of lived up to what I thought it was gonna be as far as being a little more 
aimed towards children, which is fine, which is fine. But I would really like to see it get a little more dark, especially just the overall subject matter of it being about wizards and magic and whatnot. I would really, really like to see it get a little darker. It did get dark at one point where they were in the, like the dark forest or whatever it was called, and they had the unicorn, which I guess Voldemort, uh -huh. he was feeding on, which was just, kind of out there. But I do like that they kind of went on the outskirts of it being still for children, but it was a little playful when it came to being just a little bit dark. So um, I'm hoping that it does intensify when it comes to that, but I really like the storyline just in general. It was interesting and it was fun and it had a variety of characters too. You had the little bleach blonde kid. I don't remember yeah, his Draco name. Draco Malfoy. Yeah, which was just, you know, he was the annoying kid that just would not stop picking on them. But I really, m most of all, I liked the relationship between Hermione, Ron, and Harry. I also liked the teachers, Dumbledore, mm -hmm. and I don't remember the female's name. McGonagall. You see how he just like pumps those out? <laughs> I really enjoyed that. There was a lot of good characters in it. The acting was really, really good. Besides the CG, I thought, I mean, just the movie in general looked really, really good. Like I said, I think it's a decent introduction to the franchise. It was better than I thought it was gonna be. I honestly thought that I was gonna be bored after like 30 minutes before I actually watched it. But that was not the case. And it was something, you know, that I would show my kids. So it was, it was cute. I liked it a lot. I just found out from Holden that there's eight. So <laughs> I'm hoping within those, it gets a little more mature, a little more dark. I'm also questioning like, how are they gonna drag it out that far like that's that's eight movies so i'm hoping it doesn't lose because i do feel like it's gonna get better that is something that i feel so i'm hoping that it continues to get better and it doesn't go downhill and there's like the first two are really good and then the remaining are just kind of like so-so i'm hoping that it like steadily increases as far as being enjoyable so it was decent really liked the characters just the the cg was a, a rough point for me, but um, everything else I thought it was, I can't hate on it, so yeah. You'll be surprised at how good it keeps getting. So bear in mind, I would say that 90% of the actors in this retain through the rest of the series. So I think the final movie was 2011, so we're talking about a decade's worth. When my generation, my group of peers, were growing up with these movies, we were we were growing up at the same rate as the characters. They noticeably get older in every movie. Sure. More mature, different things. They start caring about girls and stuff, you know, boys, and that becomes a whole thing. I will say that, and this is just my opinion, that I don't think there is a bad Harry Potter movie. I think that some are better than others, but I wouldn't say any of them are bad. My favorite is still yet to come, so uh, we'll be looking forward to that. So I think that you will, you're gonna get that darkness that you're looking for easily. Uh, what would you rate this one? I do have to add that I think my favorite characters were Hermione and the guy that looks like the Undertaker Hagrid. from WWF, ha Haggard, Haggard, Haggard. Um, Undertaker. He, for me, was a highlight throughout the movie. Just like the fact that he was always saying too much, but he was so lovable. I really enjoyed his character a lot. And Hermione was just, she really put the boys in their place a lot, which I liked. And she was smart and she was capable. They didn't make her the overwhelming like damsel in distress. She held her own. So I really like her character, Undertaker. I just, those two were probably my favorite. Overall, I would rate it, I'm gonna rate it a seven. A seven? Seven. Okay. I need more. I feel like I need more, because there's eight movies, I feel like I need more material to, to make a better judgment. But this was, a, this was a good starter, so seven. I'd give this one probably an eight. I think, standalone, like where no other movies to be made. I think it was a real concise, wonderful story, completed. They left it open enough where he's like, so does that mean Voldemort is dead? And you know, uh, Dumbledore's like, there are other ways for him to return. But other than that, it was pretty 
concise, its own thing. So I'd, I'd give it an eight. I think it was wonderful storytelling. I love the world, but that is it for now. We're gonna be continuing our journey through Harry Potter in the weeks to come. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. It helps the channel out a lot. Comment down below, letting us know your thoughts on Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone and how you think Jen will like it moving forward. Consider subscribing if you wanna see more fun content like this. Consider joining my Patreon to get early access to select videos just like this one and voting power on what we're gonna watch in the future. As always, we appreciate you watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Take care. So what is regarded as the best Harry Potter movie and the, I guess, worst? I can't tell you that.